cheap junk for less. The next day we went to the harbor. So Jerrykins, promise you'll come with me. You are not going to let me sail off all on my own, insisted Thea. Don't call me Jerrykins, I cried. The name is Geronimo. Here's one thing you should know about my sister. When she gets an idea in her head, it sticks like a mouse in a blue trap. Before I knew it, I had promised to go with her on her ridiculous treasure hunting trip. And as every respectable mouse knows, a rodent's promise is nothing to joke about. Chewy cheese bits, shouted Thea, breaking into a dance. Then Thea showed me a boat belonging to an old retired sea captain. It was the color of cheddar, extra sharp, my favorite. The ship's name seemed to be a good sign too, lucky lady. My sister stared at the ship, then she winked at me. You know, two sailors are really not enough for this boat, she said. Do you know who else could come with us? Trap, he says he's an expert sailor. My memories of my cousin Trap. Trap Silton, also known as Pushy Paws, were not very good. When he was young, he was a real nightmare. Trap, I sputtered. But Thea, don't you remember when he tied my tail up in a knot? I had to wear the same pants for a week. And what about the time he dyed my whiskers with that purple grape juice? But as I said, when my sister gets an idea in her head, there's no stopping her. Minutes later, we stood in front of Trap's thrift shop, cheap junk for less. The store window was dusty and full of odd stuff, an old yellowed photograph a fake crystal that was supposed to ward off cats, a box of silver whisker curlers, a super-powered fur dryer. We went in. As the door opened, it triggered a bunch of small brass bells hanging from the ceiling. Inside, a plumpish mouse with short paws and a pencil tucked behind his ear sat with his feet up on a comfy reclining chair. He wore baggy blue pants and a pair of bright red suspenders. It was Trap. He leaped up and scurried toward us with surprising speed. Well, I'll be a mouse's uncle, he shouted, crushing my paw in his. Long time no see. You two are always together, huh? Like cream and cheese. So what's up? Want to buy something? Let me tell you right up front no discounts not even to relatives cash only he shouted in our ears is there somewhere quiet we can talk asked thea trap led us into a library filled with books on every subject cats cheese cats who eat cheese and the mice who love them the air smelled musty as if the windows hadn't been opened since christopher columbus discovered mouse island all of a sudden, we heard a horrifying sound. Meow! Thea and I leaped up in the air. Cat! We shrieked together. Trap rolled around on the floor in a fit of laughter. Ah! <laughs> he sputtered. That's no cat, it's just a tape recording. It comes on automatically as soon as someone enters the library. Pretty cute, don't you think? Adorable, squeaked Thea, rolling her eyes. Well, it does keep rat burglars away and slimy sewer rats too, smirked Trap. Hmm, I wonder if I could take out a patent on it, he added. I could just hear the wheels turning in his tiny mouse-sized brain. I could make a bundle, the book mumbled, his eyes shining. Then he turned back to us. So anyway, what are you two looking for? I don't have much time to shoot the cheese. I'm a very busy mouse, you know, he added with pride, puffing up his fur. Trap listened to Thea's plans with half-closed eyes, but I could tell he was interested because his tail started to twitch when she mentioned the emerald eye. Okay, I'll join you, he agreed. But anyone who dares to lay a paw on my part of the treasure is a dead rat. We toasted to a successful trip and twisting our tails together, we squeaked to our trip, friends together, mice forever.